right, kids, I'm back. Today we're going to be reading Bicycle Bear by Michaela Montine, pictures by Doug Cushman. When you want to send a package, when you want to send a hug, when you want to send some flowers, or an oriental rug. When it won't fit in the mailbox, when the postman says, no way, when it absolutely has to be there, on that very day. Call Bicycle Bear, oh Bicycle Bear, just give him a ring and he'll be there. He'll deliver green pickles, deliver sweet jams, deliver your kisses, and sing telegrams. But the most surprising thing you will hear him say came upon a Tuesday, the 21st of May. The day began quite normally when he woke up at dawn. He stretched a bear-sized stretch and yawned a bear-sized yawn. He hopped onto his bicycle and off to work he went. He had a long, long list of things that needed to be sent. The first two things were pizzas. He picked them up with ease. One was topped with sausage and one had extra cheese. A bunch of roses followed, then a kitten in a box, two bowls of shiny goldfish, a pair of purple socks, two hats with fuzzy pom-poms, a suitcase filled with shoes, a postcard with a picture of New York City views. The list went on and on, and so did Bicycle Bear, collecting plants and packages, and a great big rocking chair. One more stop, said Bicycle Bear. I hope it's something small. A feather would be very nice, or a little ping pong ball. But at the home of I'm a Goose, he got a big surprise. It was so big that Bicycle Bear could not believe his eyes. Oh, I'm a Goose, you're such a Goose, to send this gift, a birthday moose. Oh, yes indeed, said I'm a. I always try to send something big and different to Eleanor, my friend. That's fine, said Bicycle Bear, who hemmed and hawed a bit. The only problem is, he said, I don't know where he'll fit. He thought a while, then set to work. He tried a lot of things. He wrapped up that big birthday moose with ribbons, bows, and strings. He put him in a bag. He put him in a box. He put him in a big wood crate and locked it with two locks. But no matter what he tried, it kept on coming loose. There's got to be a way, he said, to take a birthday moose. He wondered how to move him without boxes, bags, or crates. Then all at once he shouted out, Just try these roller skates. Not only will you get there, but you'll be helping me. It won't be hard for you to hold a thing or two or three. And so from town to town they went. They traveled here and there, delivering the goldfish, delivering the chair. Delivering the roses, the hats and pizzas too. When we're done, said Bicycle Bear, I must deliver you. He found the house of Eleanor and called delivery. But there was no one home, or oh, where could Eleanor be? Now what? He mumbled to himself and scratched his furry head. Then he saw the posted note, and this is what it said. Go two blocks to your left. You'll see a yellow door. That is where you'll find me. Sincerely, Eleanor. He followed the directions. He found the yellow door. Behind it was a potty, and there was Eleanor. It was her birthday party. The guests were celebrating. Some of them were eating cake. And some were roller skating. Oh, my stars, cried Eleanor. Is it true? Oh, can it be? Is this moose on roller skates a birthday gift for me? Why, yes, said Bicycle Bear. From your good friend, I'm a goose. She sends her warmest wishes with this handsome birthday moose. Oh, what a thoughtful gift. Now I'd like it if you'd take a thank you note to Irma, but first, please have some cake. 
I'm happy to do both, said Bicycle Bear with a smile, and so he had some birthday cake and skated for a while. He said goodbye to everyone. He thanked the birthday moose, and now I'll be returning to the home of I'm a Goose. He hopped onto his bicycle, and back to work he went. There was a special thank you note that needed to be sent. So when you want to send a package, or a turtle, or a fish, when you want to send a tuba, or anything you wish, call Bicycle Bear, oh Bicycle Bear, just give him a ring and he'll be there. No job is too big, no job is too small. Bicycle Bear will deliver it all. Alright, so that's the end for Bicycle Bear. What do you guys think of it? I like the story. I actually remember this story from when I was a kid. Um, saw the front cover and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot all about this book. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I like this one. I, let me know how you think uh, he's going to deliver that whale at the end too. Because <laughs> every time I get to the end of this book, I always think about that. I'm like, Bicycle Bear is pretty talented getting that moose and all. But I don't know about that whale. So, alright. You, you, usually there's... Um, you know, a uh, moral to the story on these books, on these books. Um, I don't really see one in this one, except maybe perseverance. Maybe that'll be the, 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 um, the moral to this story, persevere through anything, even if it's a giant moose or a whale for that matter. If you put your mind to it, you can get it done. All right. Like, and subscribe, please. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.